welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be seeing which juicer juices leafy greens better. All right, so the two juicers that we are comparing today is first of all, this AMZ Chef cold press juicer, and then we have the Nutribullet centrifugal juicer. So the reason why I'm comparing these two juicers is because I feel like both of them are very user friendly and they're both also budget friendly. So to make this a fair comparison, I put about two handfuls of leafy greens, and this is just like spring mix greens, um, into these bowls. So it, I tried to make it as even as I possibly could. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the AMZ Chef cold press juicer. I would do them at the same time simultaneously, but that's really hard to do that with just one person. So I'm just gonna start with this one first, and I'm gonna time about how long it takes, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with the centrifugal juicer. Before I get started, I just wanna note that these shoots are very different sizes. This shoot is about an inch and a half right here in diameter, and this shoot is about three inches, so that makes a huge difference on how quickly this process is gonna go, but I might be wrong, let's see. So this is definitely a process. This is taking a couple minutes, but it's all going down. I don't want to overfill cold press juicers, especially anything with a small shoot. You don't want to overfill it because it could get jammed up. So I'm just going little by little. If you're juicing with more fruits and vegetables, celery is always a good thing for leafy greens to help push it down. That's just a little hack I use, but we are not juicing celery today, so I'm not gonna be using that. All right, so you can see down here, we have used all the leafy greens in this bowl and there's nothing left in my chute. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off. So as expected, because leafy greens don't have a lot of water content, there isn't a whole lot of juice that came out of that whole bowl of leafy greens, but I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do the centrifugal juicer now. finished juicing both of these using both types of juicer. I will note that this AMZ Chef juicer took about two and a half minutes to juice all of those leafy greens. So it did take a little bit longer, but all of the greens got in here, whereas this one took about 45 seconds to juice that whole bowl of greens. So it is substantially faster, um, but I did have a couple flyaways. I don't know if you could see in the video, some of these tiny little pieces, um, just because of the air going around, they kind of flew back out, but that's not really a big deal for me. So the last three things we are going to check is the pulp, the yield, and the taste. All right, so I'm gonna look at the pulp first. So I'm just going to shut this little chute here. And so the pulp in this Nutribullet is just in this top part. All right, so I'm just gonna use my hand and kind of swipe at the pulp here, and I'm gonna put it on the counter. All right, so this is all the pulp for the Nutribullet juicer. All right, so starting with the pulp from the Nutribullet centrifugal juicer, you can still see some fully intact leaves, so it might not have juiced everything that went through, obviously, as we can see here. And the pulp is wet, like it is a little bit wet to the touch, just for reference. So that's what this one looks like. And then, and then we're looking over here at the AMZ Chef cold press juicer pulp. And let's see, when I squeeze it, there is a couple drops of juice that come out. So it's not super dry, but there is not full pieces of leaves in here like there is in the Nutribullet um, pulp. So I am going to pour the juice from both juicers into cups. And so I am assuming that the cold press juicer did produce more juice from the leafy greens, but let's see if I'm right. All right. So I have two juice cups right here. I'm going to pour the juice from the Nutribullet centrifugal juicer first. Ooh, look how rich green that is. 
Okay, so that looks like that's all the juice in here. All right, now I'm going to pour the juice from the AMZ Chef cold press juicer. I will note that the container with the Nutribullet, it does kind of sift out some of the foam, but as you can see on the bottom of this Nutribullet container, there really isn't a lot of foam to sift through. So I feel like that's something to note. There is a little bit more foam in the cold press AMZ Chef juicer than there is in the centrifugal juicer. All right, so putting them right next to each other, I'm just using my naked eye, but it looks like this AMZ Chef cold press juicer did produce maybe a hair more juice which is surprising, I thought that would be a little bit more. All right, so the last thing to do is to taste them. I'm hoping that there's not a lot of pulp in them, and yeah, let's try them out. I'm gonna go ahead and try the AMZ Chef cold press juicer one first. <laughs> All right, so obviously this is kind of a bitter juice, but um, I will say it's really smooth. I didn't notice pulp. I kind of assumed with the foam on top that I would kind of taste some, a little bit of chunky pulp, but I didn't taste any, so that's great. Now I'm gonna try the Nutribullet uh, centrifugal juicer. Let's try that juice. So I'm not really sure that I would say this one necessarily has more pulp, but it is definitely thicker. So meaning that maybe it has a little bit of pulp that hasn't settled, but um, yeah, so that's worth noting. All right, so overall, this Nutribullet juicer did juice the greens a lot faster, but cold press juicers typically make a lot more nutrient dense juices and the juices have a longer shelf life. So I feel like it all depends on what is most important to you. Typically, you're not going to juice greens um, just by themselves. You're gonna mix them with other things. So it depends on the other things that you are wanting to juice. Overall, I like both of these products for their own reasons. I'm gonna go ahead and put links to both of these down below so you can go check them out yourselves. If you found this comparison useful, please give this video a thumbs up and follow me for more. Thanks for watching, bye.